Hello and welcome to my tutorial on importing Super Smash Brothers models into Substance Painter. So if you don't know what Substance Painter is, it's basically uh, an application uh, or program that allows you to easily edit textures by importing models and directly drawing onto them. It's very useful and it's used in the industry a lot. So this tutorial um, is basically targeted towards Super Smash Bros. Ultimate Models, but if you are using a model that uses PRM or PBR as the engine, you can follow this, but some of the steps will be a bit different. So first of all, if you extracted the model from the base game vanilla files, you will have to extract every single textures from the normal map and the PRM map. So these textures basically hide more of them into the RPGA channel. And if you're curious about what these textures do or how to extract them, uh, a mod raider in Super Smash Bros. Ultimate Modding made a great analysis on how to extract them, edit them, and what purposes they serve. So, we want to start this by creating a new uh, scene for ourselves. Uh, and to do so, you need to go into Files, Normal, uh, New, uh, and then on template, you want to select PBR, Metallic Roughness, Algorithmic. And after with file select, you want to pick the model that you want to edit from. So here I have this lovely ponytail provided by the same moderator I was talking about. Depending on the number of meshes that you have, um, this might take a bit to import, but uh, yeah, I have a small mesh, so it didn't take a lot for me. So after this, you want to go on the top right and go into shader settings. And then you want to go into PBR Metal Rough click on it and you want to change this to PBR Metal Rough, the non-outdated one. There we go. And basically what this is going to do uh, is it's basically going to add more channel options for us. So then after we want to add those channels of course so you will go into texture set list channels and then you want to add ambient occlusion, specular, and specular level. Depending on the model, you might have more maps. So if you have, let's say, uh, an emissive map. Um, models like Samus use these, so you might want to add that depending on what you have on hand. After doing this, we are ready to basically tackle on the textures. So I have all my textures here, and to import them, all you need to do is drag them onto shelf. And this is going to bring up this window. So with this window, uh, it's basically asking us what we want to do with the textures we dropped in and basically what we want is a texture so you want to set all of these to texture and import your resources to um, if you saved your mesh before doing all of this you will have your current project here it might be in your best interest to actually save that there but since I am not going to keep the textures I'm doing today, I'm going to do current session, which basically means that when I'm going to close Substance Painter, the textures will be gone as well. So there we go, we got all of them. 
and then after we want to set those textures onto our model so we are going to add a fill layer it's basically the bucket here and we go are going to untick everything except color and we are going to drop our cold map onto base color which is going to add our base color of course then we add another fill layer but this time we are going to leave everything out except roughness and then we are going to add our roughness map so it's going to add roughness and then we are going to do basically the same with every texture we have on hand so metal for me basically the normal map then specular which is the specular map of course the specular level is going to be the cavity map this is the only one that doesn't have the same name so, yeah I'm going to make a folder and call these maps and I'm going to rename them to keep track of them so call this one is rough basically time to edit your model so if you don't know how to use substance painter uh, I recommend you try watching some beginner tutorials uh, on how to get started uh, the fill layers and the layers are going to be your most important assets and before I forget if you, right now my hair is kind of matte but you can always change uh, the environment map which uh, basically is going to change the lighting entirely and then you can rotate it around with shift and the right mouse that way you can have multiple scenes I guess to see what your map is going to look like on different places so let's say Smashville is going to act differently than uh, uh, town and city Yeah, I'm going to edit mine real quick. I'm going to do a basic edit, and like, if you already use Substance Painter, you know that you need to untick, untick what you don't want to use. So, uh, let's say I do a streak of hair. I'm going to leave out the height, the metal, the normal map, the specular map, this video. Then I'm going to add a black mask. I'm going to select the color that I want. So let's say I want a red streak. She, she's gonna be emo, that's for sure. And then we can basically start drawing on. You can draw on your model or you can draw on directly onto your models, let's say. Let's say I want a streak here, then I, I can also do it uh, where the, the texture is shown so there we go I've got a streak of hair that's starting from the top and going to the bottom I'm going to tweak my settings let's say I don't want this to be shiny or I want this to be super shiny like super fake hair uh, I can do that and it's going to be shown in my textures when I export them so let's say I finished my model then all you need to do is go into files, export texture, and then before exporting, you will go into configuration, 
and you will select PBR metal rough. So these are all the textures that will be exported and just like we did with the texture set list, we are going to add multiple textures that we want to be exported. Basically there's going to be a, a height map, you can remove that by clicking on the X. I already have mine added so I'm going to delete them just to show what you need to do. So here I have my textures with the height removed and what I, I need to do is do a, a great channel and then I'm going to add the specular here on the great channel I'm going to make this spec Oops. I add another gray I'm going to add the specular level which is basically cavity and I'm going to add another one actually the last one is the conclusion yes it's also gray so you will need to add all of these, basically make all of these gray unless it is the base color one or it is the uh, normal map one, so this one. But normally they're already there so you don't need to change anything. So after this you want to go here and config, you want to select the one that you just edited, so PBR Metal Rough. That's the same one as here, and then I'm going to click here and select where I want this to be exported. So I'm going to pick Peach Ponytail Textures New, and you can select the format that you want. Normally PNG is fine. That's you can import PNGs with Switch to Toolbox. So normally it's the best one, and then you can select the basically the size of your textures. So I'm going to pick uh, 1024 just for this uh, and basically I'm going to do export and it's going to export my newly edited texture. Uh, there we go. So now I have my new newly edited texture with Peach's streak in her hair and also the roughness which I have changed to be basically reflective like no other. So yeah, that's how you edit models in Substance Painter. I, right now I did uh, a minor edit, but you can do a bunch of stuff with this and really complicated stuff also. Uh, and honestly, I think it's one of the best tools to do recolors and also do your model imports. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed this and don't forget, if you ever need help with anything, the Smash Ultimate server is there and they can help you with what you need. So yeah, have a great one.